<laughs> you are a giant, bro. Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> have the best audience here. We do. We do have the, the best, best audience. audience. I have to say, though, this is for you. They really love you, and they've really? been uh, waiting a long time. <laughs> Daniel turned to me, and he goes, my gosh, I had no idea he was so tall. <laughs> You know, people say on TV, oh, you're, you're much shorter in real life, but you, you're much bigger in real life. <laughs> yeah, on TV, I'm only like that big. Right. Right there, you can see. No, I got my heels on. Oh, and I was telling them backstage, real. my ego makes me appear way taller than I really am. It comes out of the top mm, yes. of your head? Yeah. No, you know, it's Flashback Friday, and we found a really sweet picture of you as a little, a small fry. Oh, good, Kelly. There you good, are. Good, Kelly. Love. Thank you for that. Oh, is that Christmas? Thank you. That is... A, Poop in my pants, I think. It might look on my face. It's for sure. Look at that eyes. Like, oh. How, how, how old are you in that photo there? I, I, you know, I don't know. I've seen that photo a hundred times, um, but I don't. I'm not one of those people that have memories past like eight years old. Like, no people will talk about like they remember stuff when they were little. I don't. Hmm. So I don't know. I guess I was probably. I look like I'm two, maybe, or something. But you weren't playing guitar at that age, were no. you? Oh, my God. I was probably getting ready to put that in that fireplace. Back <laughs> What you don't realize yeah. is you're two in that photo, and I'm probably the same height you are then. <laughs> like, if I were to sit next to you there. <laughs> I'll see if I still have those pajamas, I'll give them to you. I really like yeah. them. Um, so, I, you know, I worship your girlfriend. You know that. We've talked about Gwen Stefani hey. here before. Uh, so, I get it. I get it. I, I get it. I know. Are y'all still planning that Africa trip together? We are together, planning on right? it, taking okay. a trip to Africa. Like a Thelma and Louise trip to Africa, but where we live at the end. We don't drive right, the car right, off. Right, we, right. Just, we just drive the car through a safari. <laughs> um, so she's very fashionable. Has she influenced your... Because you still seem to... You, you still have... Clearly your, not. I mean, it's Blake just, I don't even think this fits. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, but I, I, it's so fun for me to just see what she's going to wear every literally every day it's like a different like who who is it going to be today you know yeah. or with her hair and all that stuff it's and for me it's probably so boring for her like because i literally you know i'm going to have gray hair every day <laughs> i'm going to wear blue jeans and boots somebody just told me that they're not called gray it's not gray hair anymore it's called stress highlights stress highlights <laughs> Which I kind of is like. Is that where we are with political correctness these yes, days? Now like, oh my God. That's where we are, it as a matter ruins, of fact. Everything. But, so she doesn't give you fashion advice, but you guys are working together. You guys uh, wrote a song together for we, that you just debuted, right? We did. We, caught, we wrote a song called... Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's called uh, Go Ahead and Break My Heart. It's on uh, this, this uh, new album. Uh, and uh, it's crazy because I wrote the song like, at the end of last year. and. Uh, and I started the song and, and just sent it to her on a text or voice memo, however you do that thing. And, and uh, I can't even remember how I did it. But I only started the song, I think, just to impress her, to be like, yeah, I'm going to write, write a song for her, about her, you know. And then she wrote, she wrote the second half and sent it back to me. It's like, oh, my God, this is... This is crazy. We just wrote a song together. You guys are like a and, I, I know, and then I play it for people, my family, my sister, my mom, whoever, and they're like, "That's we love that song, you know." So we ended up putting it on a record, and and it's been crazy. The reaction to that thing's been crazy. When you mm. ever work together, do you tease each other? Because I know you like to tease people. Uh -huh. Do you ever tease her when you're recording? We really don't work together at all like mm -hmm. that's what's crazy about writing that song you mm -hmm. know outside of just going in and recording our vocals you know we really i mean she's gwen stefani I know. <laughs> I know. i'm a country singer you know so we don't really work together it's crazy that that thing happened i anyway. like you guys that have crossover appeal for each other and for <laughs> everybody else as well which well, is great she's probably has a better chance of crossing over to my world than i do going ska i don't oh, know i, I know a lot of people in the pop soon. world who absolutely love you right? really yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah. performance and we, 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 yeah.
You're jealous, aren't you? You're so jealous. That's what it was. You know what it is? I really am. I'm so jealous. I'm like, Blake, it's all the girls. <laughs> that was incredible. So that was the duet, right? And then, that was it. And huh? you debuted it there on The Voice. On The Voice. Incredible. And, uh, uh, it, the response to that thing has been crazy. Of course, you never know. Is it do people like the song, or are they just going? What are these two people singing together? You know, whatever it is, I'm, I'm glad. I hope mm. they buy lots of them. It's great. They will. <laughs> yeah. They will. They have. They have, well, and they will. People are loving the show uh, as always, and uh, you guys are announcing the winner of the Voice uh, next week. Is that right? You mean the, the finale, which dude. member of Team Blake's going to win? No. <laughs> That's what you meant to say, right? Yeah, that's what I meant to you say. You misread it. You right. misread the cue right. card. Right, right, right. right. Uh, yeah. So do you think it will be somebody from Team Blake? Well, I have to, but I mean, that's my job is to, I mean, I do think that. I, you I have absolutely more winners think than that. anybody else. Than anybody. Right. right. So. I mean, it's not just you and Gwen. There's another super couple on The Voice, and that would be you and Adam Levine. <laughs> long ago and he had uh he had a couple of things to say about you uh when we oh, brought you up so let's take a look this at what he had to brilliant. say i like to think that i beat blake like at life <laughs> he's my favorite person to make fun of yeah. now i can say that he's the dumbest worst human being on earth <laughs> isn't that sweet he, lo he loves you, man. He loves and you clearly. Clearly, doesn't he? he? He loves me. Do you have a rebuttal? <laughs> you know, with Adam, it's always, you can always find something to get under his skin. And the last, the last thing I remember that really bothered him so bad, because he's in a band, you know, is that we both played the Houston Rodeo, which is a huge event that happens right. down there. And, and he was, like, looking all week to see which one of us was going to sell more tickets. <laughs> and... And they ended up selling, obviously, more tickets than me. I mean, it's Maroon 5. And right. he's like, ha -ha. And I, my response, yeah, but I didn't have to split the money five ah! ways. <laughs> I got 100% I got of true. my tickets. Uh, that is really true. And that type of thing, that's what really bothers him. Money is what Adam's all about. You are in the Angry Birds movie, are you yeah. not? Yeah, there he is right there. Look at He's that. He's so cute. Look how fat he is. <laughs> Why do they have to make it so lifelike? <laughs> Look, they got my tattoo in there. Do you yeah. see the uh, tattoo, like the tattoo they drew tattoo. it on there? It's so um, I have a timeout. What is that smell? Do we all smell that? Okay, good. You know, Should we be too. alarmed by that smell? Yeah. Or we shouldn't be we alarmed? An we well, were no, talking saying, about it. We don't need to evacuate. We did evacuate. have Adam on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I think someone may be cooking okay. eggs backstage. I'm okay, not sure. Maybe. Okay, but I'm hoping. All right. You know, Sitting there, and at first I thought it was you, and then I was like, and then I was like, he probably thinks it's me. Then it was like, DDK thinks it's the one of us. I don't know, man. I'm just a new guy. I'm just a new guy. I'm just a new guy. Then I was looking at that lady, and she was like, oh my god, it's Gelman. So everybody was like going around like, I think it's like, uh, so you, your uh, new album is If I'm Being Honest, right? And you're gonna go back if I'm on. Honest, uh, well, I gotta figure out how if to. If I'm honest. If I'm honest, and I did uh, a different TV show uh, that we we don't talk about because this is the only show on television that right, matters. Right, right, right. Uh, but they said you the same tell, thing. They said the me, same thing, though, that it was if I'm being that. honest. I know, right? Because because it's a phrase people always say. Yeah. If I'm being honest. Right, right. But, but I changed it to if I'm honest, if and I'm now honest. I'm starting to think. No, no, a lot of Brits say if I'm honest. If I'm being honest, yeah. Yeah. So you're going back on tour in the fall? Going back on tour in the fall. I'm, I'm going to play some shows this summer, just, you know, Where you festivals. And I don't know, just a lot of <laughs> festivals and things. But the, my actual tour starts again in uh, September. We start in Oklahoma City. And, uh, and uh, I think we end up, I think we end up here in uh, Brooklyn. In, in New York. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We're doing two shows here. We're doing two shows we'll here. We'll come see you. Yes. All right. Please. Yeah. Maybe we can time it to where, uh, if I can get Gwen there, you'll for sure come out. Oh, my gosh. I'll, yeah. uh, I mean, I'll bring flowers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to we're gonna put all the information on our website about your tour, and later on in the show, you're going to perform for us. Yes. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. told me that they're not called gray, it's not gray hair anymore, it's called stress highlights. Stress highlights. 
Uh, Which I kind of is like. Is that where we are with political correctness these <laughs> yeah, days? It's it's like, oh my God. That's where we are, it ruins, as a matter of fact. <laughs> but, so she doesn't give you fashion advice, but you guys are working together. You guys uh, wrote a song together for we, your, that you just debuted, right? We did. We, caught, we wrote a song called... Uh, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's called uh, Go Ahead and Break My Heart. It's on uh, this, this uh, new album. Uh, and I, it's crazy because... It, wrote the song at the end of last year and I, I started the song and, and just sent it to her on a text or voice memo however you do that thing and, and uh, I can't even remember how I did it but I only started the song I think just to impress her to be like yeah I'm gonna write write a song for her about her you know and then she wrote she wrote the second half and sent it back to me it's like oh my god this is this is crazy. We just wrote a song together. You guys are like a match made and in I, I know, and then I play it for people, my family, my sister, my mom, whoever, and they're like, "That's we love that song, you know." So we ended up putting it on a record, and and it's been crazy. The reaction to that thing's been crazy. When you mm. ever work together, do you tease each other? Because I know you like to tease people. Uh -huh. Do you ever tease her when you're recording? We really don't work together at all like mm -hmm. that's what's crazy about writing that song you mm -hmm. know outside of just going in and recording our vocals you know we really i mean she's Gwen Stefani. I know. <laughs> I'm a country singer, you know, so we don't really work together. It's crazy that that thing happened. I anyway. like you guys that have crossover appeal for each other and for everybody else as well, which well, is great. Well, she probably has a better chance of crossing over to my world than I do going ska. I don't know. Oh, I know yeah. lots of people Anytime in the pop soon. world who absolutely love you. Really? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. debut performance and we yeah. 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 okay? yeah, yeah. yeah. You're jealous, aren't you? Yeah. You're so jealous. Oh, That's what I want. Yeah. I really am. I'm so jealous. I'm like, Blake, it's all the girls. <laughs> that was incredible. So that was the duet, right? And then, that was it. And I, you debuted it there on The Voice. On The Voice. Incredible. And, uh, uh, it, the response to that thing has been crazy. Of course, you never know. Is it do people like the song, or are they just going? What are these two people singing together? You know, whatever it is, I'm, I'm glad. I hope mm. they buy lots of them. It's great. They will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They will. They have. They have, well, and they will. People are loving the show uh, as always, and uh, you guys are announcing the winner of the Voice uh, next week. Is that right? You mean the, the which member of Team Blake's going to win? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you meant to say, right? Yeah, that's what I meant to you say. You misread it. You right. misread the cue right, card. Right, right, right. Yeah. So do you think it will be somebody from Team Blake? Well, I have to, but I mean, that's my job is to, I mean, I do think that. I, you I have absolutely more winners think than that anybody else. Than anybody. Right. right. So. I mean, it's not just you and Gwen. There's another super couple on The Voice, and that would be you and Adam Levine. The, you know, we had Adam here not long ago, and he had, uh, he had a couple of things to say about you uh, when we brought oh, you up. So let's take a look at what he had to brilliant. say. I like to think that I beat Blake like at life. <laughs> He's my favorite person to make fun of. Yeah. Now, I can say that he's the dumbest, worst human being on earth. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? He, lo so sweet? he loves you, man. He loves and you clearly. Clearly, doesn't he? he? He loves me. Do you have a rebuttal? <laughs> you know, with Adam, it's always, you can always find something to get under his skin. And the last, the last thing I remember that really bothered him so bad, because he's in a band, you know, is that we both played the Houston Rodeo, which is a huge event that happens right. down there and, and he was like looking all week to see. Oh, like no people kidding. talk about like they remember stuff when they were little. I don't. Mm. So well, I don't know. I guess I was probably, I look like I'm two maybe or something. But you weren't playing guitar at that age, no. were you? Oh you? my God. I was probably getting ready to put that in that fireplace. <laughs> <laughs> What you don't realize yeah. is you're two in that photo, and I'm probably the same height you are now. <laughs> like if I were to sit next to you there. <laughs> I'll see if I still have those pajamas. I'll give them to you. I really like yeah. them. Um, so, I, you know, I worship your girlfriend. You know that. We've talked about Gwen Stefani hey. here before. Uh, so, I get it. I get it. I, I get it.
I know. Are you also planning that Africa trip We are together, planning on right? taking okay. a trip to Africa. Like a Thelma and Louise trip to Africa, but where we live at the end. We don't drive right, the car right, off. Right, we, right. Just, <laughs> we just drive the car through a safari. Um, so she's very fashionable. Has she influenced your... Because you still seem to... You, you still have... Clearly your, not. I mean, it's... Blake Shelton. I don't even think this fits. <laughs> uh, no, but I, I, it's so fun for me to just see what she's gonna wear every literally every day it's like a different like who who is it gonna be today you know yeah. or with her hair and all that stuff it's and for me it's probably so boring for her like because I literally you know I'm gonna have gray hair every day <laughs> I'm gonna wear blue jeans and boots somebody See you. <laughs> you guys always have the best audience here. We do. We do have the, the best, best audience. audience. I have to say, though, this is for you. They really love you, and they've really? been uh, waiting a long time. <laughs> Daniel turned to me and he goes, My gosh. I had no idea he was so tall. <laughs> you know, people say on TV, oh, you're, you're much shorter in real life, but you, you're much bigger in real life. <laughs> yeah. yeah, on TV, I'm only like that big. Right. Right there, you can see. No, I got my heels on. Oh, and I'm telling backstage, my ego makes me appear way taller than I really am. It comes out of the top mm, yes. of your head. Yeah. No, you know, it's Flashback Friday, and we found a really sweet picture of you as a little, a small fry. Oh, good, Kelly. There you good, are. Good, Kelly. Up. Thank you for that. Oh. Christmas? Thank you. That is a poop in my pants, I think. If I look on my face, it's for sure. Look at that eyes. Like, oh. How, how, how old are you in that photo there? I, I, you know, I don't know. I've seen that photo a hundred times, um, but I don't. I'm not one of those people that have memories past like eight years old.